What is a quirk? Or better yet, what does quirks do? Today we're going to be discussing quirks, what quirks are, and the many types of quirks in the universe of MHA, aka My Hero Academia. That being said, if you like this type of video, don't forget to subscribe, because if you do, Mount Lady will sit on you. And let's go ahead and get into the video. So what is a quirk right quirk is basically you're being born with a superpower think of marvel or you know dc but then anime that shit now that's the stuff post it and that's basically what it is it's an over-the-top superpower Quirks give the user extraordinary power to the point where a person can run really fast or a person can control gravity. Depending on the quirk transformation that a person receives from DNA, amazing things can happen. That being said, it's only two ways that you can receive quirks, right? You can only receive quirks from A, your mom and your dad bussing, or from a piece of DNA from another person. Sounds the same to me. <laughs> What did you say, nigga? So how many types of quirks are there? Well, actually, there is four. And the first one is emitter. And what is an emitter quirk? Where the emitter quirk is something that allows you to control it or generate it or alter it to the point where it can be used in a type of blast or it can be controlled like gravity. So think of Bakugo and Ochako, two characters in the My Hero series. Bakugo sweat is generated and when he gets uses his sweat he's allowed to use his explosive, explosive quirk and Achako is allowed to control gravity with her powers and those two are two fine examples of what an emitter is the next quirk type on this is oh fuck yeah brother i'm hard as a rock transformation now what is a transformation quirk well think of colossus on x-men when he turns into colossus he just turns all metal and that's basically the same thing with this type of quirk transformation quirks allows the user to temporarily alter one's physiology you know making you harder making you liquider making you hard as a rock uh kind of think of it as like you're a person who wants come a solid rock and so you turn your body into that transformation a good example of what a transformation quirk is is look at red riot red riot has the ability to use harden and harden is basically what a transformation quirk is it's amazing so unlike the emitter and the transformation quirks the mutation quirk is permanent and what that means is whatever the quirk is is permanent on your body you can't change it it's not temporary like harden you're actually whatever it is like for instance you can grow a tail and that's permanently part of your body or you can be invisible and nobody will be able to find you like you can't be uninvisible like it is permanent or you can be a bird that has a shadow monster in its stomach last but not least you have accumulation now accumulation quirks are quirks like one for all and all for one and it's only two people that i know that have these quirks per se you can actually say three if you know if you want to be technical about it but these people are the ones that have these quirks now deku has the quirk one for all and this quirk allows him to use nine other quirks so he has nine other quirks he can use float and flugen and danger sense and this gives him an enormous amount of power almost to the point where he is godlike and then you have all for one who has the quirk one for all and this quirk is an accumulation a stockpile of quirks that he's gotten over the years and nobody knows how many powers he has but he has a, a crazy amount of quirks which makes him insanely broken as well and then you have all for shigaraki which is you know all for one and shigaraki fused together and that makes him also have the quirk decay but accumulation quirks is basically multiple quirks 
in one vessel, in one body. And it's really awesome. But if this video helped you out, man, and you enjoyed learning about quirks, let me know down below by commenting, liking, and sharing the video.